Hello dear friends, I'd like to start this series of videos for self-defense because I believe that uh, everyone must learn how to defend itself. Uh, my background is uh, Shotokan Karate, but I won't use so much Shotokan Karate techniques, uh, very complex, very elaborate. I'm not going to use so many of them. I'm going to use basic self-defense techniques that can be used by anybody that can pick up a bucket of water. So even, even a child can do it, you know, provided can lift a bucket of, of water. You don't need strength. You don't need big muscles. You just need perseverance and learning the, the techniques. Um, look at there are thousands of techniques around to learn every one of them and to practice them in in real life it's going to be a mission you won't be able to remember them and uh, uh, self-defense is uh, not playing a chess it's not you don't have time to think when the knife is around your neck or a gun is in your chest or a bully is grabbing your throw it and you've got five seconds and after which you collapse you don't have time to think what you need to do so uh, what I'm gonna teach you it must become intuitive in your life so that you can be able successfully to protect yourself uh, basically we're gonna learn not so much the techniques of course gonna be techniques uh, and methods of self-defense but basically we're gonna do a, a, a lifestyle of uh, self-defense where you can successfully uh, defend yourself um, so uh, the thing is uh, just to watch a video and to think that after uh, uh, watching it you, you'll be successful uh, in self-defense it's illusion and don't do it you need to practice I wake up 4 o'clock every morning and I train from 4 to 6 here in this place cold Whatever it is, the weather hot, I train here from four to six. Uh, it takes a lot of discipline. You need to find your own time. If, if you train less than three times a week, you're wasting your time. Uh, the things that I'm going to show you includes also uh, stretching, includes little but physical exercise, but this is uh, not uh, a means to an end this is uh, uh, just end of itself it's a means to an end uh, uh, what it means is that you're gonna learn that so that it can be successfully you can successfully uh, protect yourself uh, uh, I'll teach you how to do the split I'll teach you how to do push-ups and squats in in, in one leg and in, in one arm now, many things I'll teach you um, if, if you persevere and if you practice if you don't practice please stop here throw this video and go go watch soccer or whatever it is you need to practice uh, when i say practice it doesn't need only physical practice i want these techniques to come to your mind that means i want you to sit or lie down close your eyes and practice what i'm going to teach you in the beginning it's going to take effort but i want these things in your head if they are not in your head it's not going to be in your body so you need to practice them in your head i'm not talking about Eastern meditation and things like this, I'm far away from this. I'm Christian and I'm very, very far from that. For me, karate and uh, self-defense is, is just a way uh, we to protect yourself. When I say Christian, uh, immediately the question arises, doesn't the Bible teach us if they hit you in one cheek, you need to turn the other? Of course, it, it, it says it. But uh, first thing, let, let us be reminded that uh, we need to look at this verse very carefully first thing neither jesus when was hit neither paul when was hit turned out a cheek when jesus says when jesus was hit uh, uh, says why you hit me if i did something wrong show me the wrong but if i didn't do anything wrong and that was in his trial which was arranged following uh, which it was his crucifixion same thing with paul when he was hit uh, you know he also didn't turn the other cheek so this is not kind of uh, 
love of self torture this is not christianity all right uh, when when the bible says turn the other cheek is that means that don't revenge and don't look for trouble and don't don't revenge allow allow the other one to carry on this evil course to yourself you've got the right to defend yourself but don't revenge and, and, and don't attack him and, and, and things like this unless you have to defend yourself uh, and I'll tell you straight the case I was two years not one day two years remember this is 730 days now I, I just want to ask you can you be a slave for one hour I've been slave of the communists not for one hour not for one day but for 730 days two years I've been beaten there for my uh, uh, being a Christian. I, I had to fight also and I have to beat also. Um, and uh, the immediate commander that was uh, responsible for me was given the task so that I can give up uh, being a Christian and keeping uh, God's Holy Sabbath as it's in the Bible. And he beat me. Uh, I didn't feel God was with me and I didn't feel anything any bit he beat me with piece of food uh, it was quite strong and uh, uh, what happened is uh, if I if I resisted or or, or or something in this kind or if I, I hit him uh, I would have been sent to even worse place so uh, I didn't do anything but uh, the funny thing is it happens is that um, after I left this place, just just two, three years after that, the same person, I was traveling uh, the public transport in, in Europe. Uh, the public transport is very well developed and is very pleasant to uh, drive kind of. Uh, and uh, uh, I was driving, going to visit my cousin. And when I... Uh, was sitting there just in front of me came the same person this commander who, who hit me tortured me for being a Christian he just sat in front of me at this case at this stage I was 113 kg I was wrestling uh, I could have I could have uh, sort him out very very quickly and he would have been dead scared because he knew what what was doing I didn't even greet him I didn't even greet him because if I greet him, I knew, uh, studying psychology, that he became, because he is guilty, of course, he became very self-protective and deals, this self-protection will turn to uh, aggressive behavior towards me and then I would have been very tempted to, uh, to sort him with a fracture or with something else, which uh, I, I didn't like it. I left the case in God. It was just like the same, like David, uh, uh, when uh, Saul um, was going to the cave and David cut, uh, cut the mantle of, of, of Saul. Although Saul was going to, uh, to kill him if, if it was the, uh, uh, the vice versa situation. So I, I left it at that situation. Uh, and, and many other situations I've got. I, I don't revenge. I don't revenge, but I, I defend myself. Uh, when there is a critical situation, um, I always try to defuse it. Um, say, for example, uh, road rage, uh, I try to defuse it. Uh, when I was young, I didn't do that, of course. I remember one case uh, 20 years ago. Uh, I was traveling and somebody passed on a red robot and cut me and I hooted and he made me a middle finger. Uh, and he couldn't pass further on, so I get out of the car. Um, don't do that. Don't do that. It's very dangerous. People get killed uh, of, of, of that. And the guy get out of the car and took a wire out of, out of his car and took a big wire. And, and he wants to hit me with that wire. I give him just the one left. And he fall down. As a blood. Just one left, I give him. I didn't give him right, just uh, one quick left. It was full of blood down, he was on the ground. He stood up, he took a starter, 
from his car, big starter, and he wanted to throw uh, the starter to me. I took him by the hand and I put his head on the car and I keep his hand. So what he did is he took his my pocket and tear it off. So I kicked him and I throw him five meters away. And while he was flying to, to his destination, with, uh, with <laughs> me giving him nice momentum, uh, I went to the car and uh, that was the situation. Uh, there was one of my workers in the car. So on the next day, um, police knocks at my door. Uh, what was the case? And I said, look now, that's, that's the case. It was complete self-defense. Uh, and I've got a witness and I've got, uh, you know, all, all of this, but some pleasant situation. This guy he obviously was bitter, although he was guilty. And he had a, if he had a chance and to say, for example, if he knew where I live and uh, if he knew how to find me, obviously he'll look for revenge. So um, I, I won't do that. I won't do that again. But as a Christian, we have a right to defend ourselves. Just like the Jews defend themselves in the time of Artaxerxes when the death edict was given to them and they, uh, they, had to, uh, they had to be slaughtered, wholesale slaughtered, for all the Jews in the time of Persian king uh, Xerxes. Uh, so uh, we have the right also to uh, defend ourselves. Um, uh, but again, I say always try to uh, diffuse the situation if you can. Use what I'm going to show you only if you're cornered. If you're not cornered, walk away. Let the other thing you, you want. Let the other thing you want. Uh, better, better is this way. Uh, I had a friend of mine uh, who is uh, special forces, uh, very humble guy, very extremely humble guy, but uh, incredible fighter, incredible. Uh, he's just a machine. Uh, so uh, it was a road rage accident, and the guy actually attacked him. So the guy neutralized him and kept him on the fence, and he says, "Look now." You've got your child in your car and you come and attack me. You know what's going to happen? And the guy was raving and just got the guy neutralized him and things like this. It's very tempting because um, the techniques that I'm going to show can be uh, can be potentially little and you don't know where this is going to go. Uh, uh, definitely, uh, when, when I start fighting, this is why I don't want to start fighting, I want to finish the fight either with fracture or, or if, if, if there is a death threat with the, uh, with the death of the other one. Yes, uh, if, if somebody is threatened my life, I have all my right to, to kill them and I know how to do it just with two shots. Uh, later in the course, I can show you that it's very dangerous. Uh, so this is why I, I try to avoid. Because when you start fighting, I want to make something very clear to you. Say, for example, your name is Johnny. Right? You're not anymore Johnny. I don't see Johnny when I start fighting with you. I see bones and I see meat. And I see weak points where I can attack and I can, I can make you a fracture or I can send you in a hospital for the next six months. So uh, uh, if you've got weak nerves, this video is not for you. It's gonna be brutal. It, it can make you squeamish, it can make you vomit, I don't care. It's self-defense, it's a street fight. You don't know what's or the other guy's intention. It's up to you. So either watch it or don't watch it, but this is this is not a movie that uh, uh, just is gonna be neutralized and, and, and things like this. There is no such a thing. You don't know where the fight is gonna go. You don't know if, if the gun is uh, loaded. You don't know if the knife, uh, uh, what's gonna happen with this knife. When somebody attacks you with, with, with a hand or just a stretches a hand over you, you don't know what this hand is gonna do. Is it gonna break your jaw? Is it gonna break your nose? And you're gonna look like a monkey, you know, after. Is it gonna take out your eye? Is it gonna choke you? Or you don't know nothing. So you need to, by quickest and the fastest way, you to sort this guy out so that the guy has either a fracture or can be uh, knocked out, uh, down unconscious and things like this. This is actually a karate. This is not a wrestling, this is not boxing. 
my full respect of wrestling and, and, and boxing. If, if you've got such a background, please, by all means, I uh, don't put down any uh, uh, martial, martial art. Uh, it, it happens that I get involved with uh, Shotokan. I got my, uh, uh, my black belt and I'm happy with that. Um, the good thing with the Shotokan is I, I like the grading and I like the discipline and I like the uh, the very respectful way of fighting uh, and uh, the stretching and, and the discipline and, and, and the elaborate techniques. I like that. But if you've got a background of boxing or MMA, I used to train MMA for six months. Uh, I loved wrestling also. Uh, my father is a great boxer uh, and swimming champion. And, uh, Please, by all means, use it, but don't get limited to that. Like the techniques that I'm going to show, it's not going to be limited to Shotokan or to, uh, to any kind of karate. Uh, it's just use it as a, as a base, as a, as a base uh, uh, techniques. Um, so uh, use it, use it what you've got. Uh, all right. Um, so uh, important thing is you to learn it so that it can become your second nature. And this is why you need to do to train every day. Why I have to go and swim all of the, the, the sea is just here. And I love swimming. Why I have to go and swim every day where I can train every day and become efficient? You see, the things must be in your mind so strongly that when this hand comes to you, attacking you, you need to neutralize it and you need to immediately knock out the guy I see so it's not only blocking it's it's attacking and blocking at the same time so that the guy can can be uh, knocked out by two three shots I don't like fighting I don't like uh, uh, going uh, going around and around uh, look we, we, we're gonna learn that how to do it because you don't know how the fight is gonna go look sometimes you deliver two three shots and nothing happen you miss so what you do even the greatest fighters got 60 70 percent successful rate what it means that out of out of, of 10 shots they uh, they are successful only with 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 six seven the other three or four they miss so what's going to happen so you need to be prepared to fight at least 20 minutes so i encourage you uh, a very strongly uh, intensive training at least get a punching bag or or with your partner if you train with a partner uh, uh, get uh, get training at least 20 minutes uh, you can have uh, a very a very strong training because um, I, I love training actually with big guys uh, i remember one of the fights with uh, one of the guys in the, in the dojo uh, he's 120 kg i'm 74 i love fighting with big guys I'm, I'm afraid of the small guys and i'll tell you why you'll learn after i tell you the story so we start fighting and uh, I just block, 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 attack where I can. And then I start uh, kicking him. Uh, he couldn't kick me, so first thing he had to defend himself because the leg is longer than the arm. And the leg is stronger than the arm. So now what's happening is that he can't, he can't attack me when I, when I start kicking him with his legs. He's forced. To go on the defensive mode and i love that and then I, I start inflicting damage on him and then uh i i suddenly i see that his guards start dropping when his guards start dropping there is a one thing he's losing oxygen he's getting tired he's uh he's losing oxygen uh, it was a, just a case uh one mawashi gary in the head he would have been knocked out or a one good uh, knockout uh, so I see him is, is falling down and he start uh, getting tired. And uh, I said, what's happening? You're losing oxygen. You, 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 you're weak as a, as, as a, as a baby now. I, you know? So that's, that's the whole point. If you can't fight, carrying on fighting, and if your oxygen is low, if, you know, when, you, when you big this body, 120 kg, takes a lot of oxygen. So. You know, you, you lose that fight. It doesn't matter if, even if, if, if you're very strong, if you've got uh, big muscles and, and things like this. You, you lose that fight. So you need to be prepared to carry on uh, uh, fighting uh, and do it. Although you must aim 
that John Knox uh, two, three knocks and down. I, I, I hate fighting, receiving blows. What's about if, if I lose a teeth or if I, uh, my nose is broken or, uh, you know, I, 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 I've got a broken rib or, or a, a, a damaged muscle and, and things like this, even if I win the fight, even if I kill the guy, you know, what's the use of it? You know, it is, it is, it is terrible. So you need to be um, able to do four things. And that's, I want you to remember it. First thing, to, to make his position worse when you start fighting. So that means unbalanced, uh, easy to manipulate his position, you must make his position uh, uh, worse. Second, you must make your position better so that you can afflict uh, more and more damage. Third thing what you need to uh, do is to avoid damage to yourself as much as you can. And fourth, to afflict, to inflict as much damage to, to, to these guys as, as possible. All right, these four things, remember them. Stop and revise if, if you start forgetting them. So uh, this, is, this is what's what we're gonna aim. And another thing they ask me, uh, why don't you go on the competitions? First thing, it's not Christian you to go on the competitions. Um, there is a religious author, uh, Ellen White, which clearly says, avoid all kinds of competition. Um, simply, simply, uh, first from the practical side, let, let's look at the practical side. I've seen the guys go in a competition and they always ask me, go on the, come, come, come with us, come in a competition. Uh, and I said, no, I'm not gonna go. So I see these guys returning for competition. Well, you've got 10,000 uh, price and you've got a trophy and you've got plenty of injuries where he, Allow, we, we, it prevents him to train for the next six months properly and he feels pain and like this. So what's the use of this 10,000 rand if I have to not to sleep a few, few, few nights or like one of my uh, good friends who is a cage fighter uh, and the doctor have to drain his ear with, with the syringe because the ears are swollen like hell. You know, uh, for, for what? For what purpose? Uh, so. I, I don't like this. This is from the practical side. Second, from the from the ethical side, you, you know, the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 9 verse 11 that uh, everything uh, depends on a chance uh, and, uh, and the fight is not for the strong and the money are not for the clever, but everything depends on a chance, chance on a time. Uh, I remember the fight of David and Goliath. It's, it's very important, uh, I think. Uh, a dead fight. Uh, Goliath was uh, three meters tall. David was a, a young boy, but David beat Goliath also uh, because um, God was with him, and uh, of course. Uh, but uh, if you look at the Goliath, there wasn't a way physically you to kill that guy or to inflict any damage. He had a, a, a armor, he had a helmet, he had everything. There is no way, neither a spear, neither, neither a sword could kill him. But what happened is when both of them start running to each other in this fight, in his anger, Goliath lifted up unconsciously his helmet out of his sweating brow and God pointed the stone just at death. David picked up five stones, but used only one. So he lifted up the helmet and the, the stone went straight to the bullseye. The guy fell down and the next thing David chopped. Uh, his head with his arm, uh, with Goliath's sword. So uh, when you start fighting, look at this example. Uh, now it's very important. Uh, you'll fight it, but sometimes you'll open yourself. Even I I've seen uh, uh, world champions uh, on a street fight, they open themselves and they get inflicted. Some of them get even knocked out. Simply because you don't know when and how you'll open yourself and you won't be able to see that shot, that shot that is going to knock you out or maybe kill you. So that's very important we, we, we to realize. Uh, the fight is not for the strongest, but you need to be able to, to defend yourself. Don't go learn these techniques and use them to force your will on, on, on somebody else. Don't do that. If, if you try to do that, you'll get your master. Bullies always get their master. 
so uh, you know it will it will happen I, I, I've been a teacher in uh, Sidevan high school in uh, is a Christian school in, in Heidelberg and uh, uh, you know to my to my regret and to my shock I see Christians that are brought in a Christian families bully each other in the most disgusting way one day I I, I, I heard a terrible uh, noise from the toilets and somebody screaming like they slaughtering him and I, and I go and I see one of one of these uh, uh, white guys big white guy knocking a little black uh, black guy well what kind of what kind of uh, uh, you know uh, um, pleasure gives him he to torture that, that little uh, 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 black guy there in the toilet so he was beating him actually in the toilet and the guy was screaming screaming so when i got to the toilet i caught him by the neck and i start beating him that guy as he was beating that and i was beating him look now that was almost 30 years ago i can't do this today because i've been in jail you're not allowed even to 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 to, 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 to touch a, a student now but then i, I start giving that bully uh, because i hate bullying uh, i've been bullied in the school so i, I know it's terrible so he, I start giving him the the black boy with relief was looking at what what's happening that immediate justice that's come to his defense but that bully uh, uh, couldn't believe that I hit him because uh, normally teachers in the Christian school they don't hit the, the, the students but I hit him because he was bullying that, that little black boy and he said I'm gonna sue I said better better sue me let me give you enough so that uh, you know you can you can sue me enough for that uh, it came to nothing he didn't bully me he didn't uh, he didn't sue me and uh, it came to nothing but what i'm saying is uh you need to sometimes stand for protection of of, of the weak uh, one but don't use the techniques to bully uh weak uh, uh, weak guys um and to force them to do your will you know, uh, if, if there is an argument, normally starts with a verbal argument, then it starts, then it carries on with, uh, uh, you know, show of the strength, you know, who I am, you know, who are you, and things like this. Then it starts with uh, warning shots, and then it can develop to, to very ugly fight. Try to defuse it and let the other win. Um, that's what I call real turning the other chick. Let the other win. Uh, let, uh, let, let the other win. Uh, uh, win. Um, so um, don't use the techniques to to force your will. Um, so that's that's important thing we to uh, 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 realize. With few with few shots, you to knock out the guy, so that you can get away with the uh, situation, um, and to uh, to be to be able to to defend yourself or or, or your family. Um, again, uh, if you don't like the dehumanizing of, of your enemy, uh, don't train this. If you start thinking about this human being in front of you with families and thinking you feel sorry for him, the fighting is not for you. All right? Definitely it's not for you. Don't fight. All right? You need to dehumanize your enemy. So that means this is not any more human being. This is bones. This is... Uh, uh, meat and these bones and meat needs to be sorted out needs to be sorted out in a way that that can be that, that can be finished i want you to realize also human body is extremely fragile <laughs> ask any doctor how fragile is human uh, body and one of the greatest assets you and i have is our health so uh, sometimes a single fight can lead to uh, crippling for life that can happen and it happens you can you can read plenty plenty of this and you can see it also it happens so you know what's the purpose of that so this is why i say only fight when you're cornered if you're not in a corner just just let the other win run away if somebody swears you so it be you know if somebody is uh, insulting you so it be run away as long as you're not cornered and you you're threatened with physical abuse or uh, or with death don't do it
but I, I want to tell you a few things now also first thing avoid fight at any price except the damage of, of your body and uh, your, your life avoid never start first never start first all right second warn the guy and tell him look now you know, I don't want to fight but if I have to fight you know we don't know who is who is who is gonna uh, how is gonna uh, finish this uh, uh, fight and the third thing which uh, you may you may maybe not don't want to hear when you start fighting this guy must wind up in a hospital all right you mustn't just give him a few slops and and say goodbye no, the guy must wind up in a hospital. He must have a fracture or he must be knocked out. Otherwise, don't fight. I'll tell you a case. When, it was, when I was in that labor camp, which is just like a prison, I saw uh, two guys fighting. And two guy, one, one of the guys uh, knocked him out. And when he was knocked out, the guy was down. Actually, it was knocked down, not knocked out. He was knocked down. And the guy asked him for mercy. He said, please, please, please don't, don't do that. And the guy made the biggest mistake. Turn his back and walk out, thinking that uh, the fight is over, but that was his biggest mistake. The other guy pulled him by the shoulder and gave him one in the nose, just here. The guy after that showed mercy to this guy had a hole, he had a hole in his nose after. I don't know how it was sorted out, I can't remember. But I remember that very case. So it's terrible. So it's terrible. This is why, even when it's down, even though it's cruel to you, it's the, the guy must be finished. If it's not finished, if the guy is knocked out unconscious, either choked or uh, submissed or had a fracture, or if it's a dead situation or killed, don't start fighting. Don't start fighting. Fighting is not for you. All right. And um, another very important point that we need to take is that uh, don't make your enemy learn your moves and know where the next move is coming and where your next blow is coming. They use the word telegraphing, but I'm not going to use that word. I want to use the word don't let the other know because it's not only uh, your uh, uh, single shots and things like it's your whole strategy let let it not uh, know and let it know your weaknesses and let it not know uh, your strengths um, so if your shoulder is damaged and don't don't let the other learn it just fight like is is it's everything is normal if you're forced to do it and um, like all of the big fighters says the biggest shot and the most successful shot is the one that you're not gonna see so if the of the guys, if you jab him, say for example, and he's defending on that side, and if you give him a nice hook and fracture his jaw, he's finished. He he didn't he didn't wait for this uh, shot. So, so that's that's what I'm saying is uh, your shots must be unpredictable, and remember the shots that will take you out is the one that you're not gonna see, vice versa your your enemy. So this is why your eyes, your face, actually, and, and everything must be in front of you, straight to your, straight to your, uh, to, to your enemy. Important thing: um, if uh, happens altercation, if altercation happens, uh, keep uh, keep your enemy on a on a distance little but longer than his leg because he may kick you immediately in the head in the groin you don't know what it is this what's up to this guy so keep keep yourself a distance first thing keep yourself a distance little but longer than the leg not arm a leg because he may kick you with the leg second thing when uh, when when the guy uh, attacks you is keep your eyes and the third thing always know what's behind your back now it's very important if you're in a hostile situation and you are uh, with people 
that are kind of uh, more or less of the same background and one of them uh, starts uh, uh, fighting with you uh, you don't know who of the others will start with you uh, when 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 the fight start out of solidarity so uh, be very very careful uh, be very careful how how this is gonna happen um, and be always aware of the uh, of the situation uh, now regarding knives guns uh, baseball bats and things like this um, access uh, uh, sticks and all kind of uh, all kind of weapons uh, actually you you should be uh, relieved if you see the guy using these things because a uh, real uh, martial art artist uh, it, it, it's not going to use them uh, uh, so much. Uh, first thing, the guy that holds a knife trusts too much on that knife and holds that knife. That's an advantage. The guy that holds a baseball bat trusts on that baseball bat. The guy that holds X uh, trusts in that bag. And human body um, it's created in this way that you just can't just shoot just like this you need to load your shot so now for the knife to come to you either the hand must be raised or it must, must something like this you see i'm loaded and then only i trust I, I load only then i can trust from here i can't trust nothing you know from here i can't trust nothing i need to load first same thing with the baseball but i need to load so that means there so when you see this hand rising You've got a chance to counter it and that's that's what's very important another word that we have to learn is timing also the guy swinging and if you catch his rhythm of swinging at the moment he start loading that baseball bat or an axe or whatever it is then you attack then you attack you see it is it is very very important to do it same thing with the shot same thing with the shot, same thing with the kick. The human body is constructed that first you need to load the shot. You see, my hand is here. It's loaded. With this hand, I can't shoot. But with this hand, I can. So, I do. You see, this, this hand I load. So, I need to load. So, when you see hand loaded or a leg or baseball bat, that's the moment that you need to neutralize. That's a neutralize. Also watch out your uh, your breathing. Watch out your breathing and watch the breathing of the other one. If the guy is taking breath, just what watch at the moment he takes a breath, he's the most vulnerable because you can't take a breath and flex your muscles, say for a stomach. When you when you take a breath, check up your stomach is soft. Then hit. Hit on that liver and that liver can explode. And the guy the guy can get in a terrible situation. You see, so uh, that kind of stuff, you need to be aware of, of, of timing, of, of how you're going to do it. Mm. Another important thing is that uh, the damage that's inflicted on your body um, is uh, it's a question of, of energy. Energy, as a man that studied physics and astronomy, I, I can tell you, uh, the basic law of energy is that energy is not created. It is not destroyed, can never be created. You can't create energy. You can never be destroyed, can be turned only from one kind of energy to another kind of energy. For example, if I do mechanical energy, moving my hands, you can see a warmth happen. Right. Uh, and many other transformations of energy. So when my hand is moving, You've got a kinetic energy. That kinetic energy, you can destroy kinetic energy, that's for sure. But kinetic energy is not preserved, but the energy is preserved. So what's going to happen is if I hit you, that energy, the kinetic energy of my fist is turning to something else. It starts damaging your, uh, your anatomy. The energy is never lost. You, you, you understand that? There is a formula of, uh, of the kinetic energy where it says that uh, half of the mass by the speed squared uh, is the formula of kinetic energy. Uh, that means of my speed, it's twice of your speed, but you've got 
two times bigger arm, all right? So what's gonna happen is half of that uh, uh, mass, so make it two times, but I'm uh, half of that, but I hit twice uh, faster. So square of, of the speed makes four, you're gonna lose with bigger arms, you understand? So kinetic energy depends on the speed. You need to be faster. You need to be very fast because the speed creates much bigger kinetic energy. And kinetic energy, when transformed to something else, to damaging of your anatomy, it's much bigger than the speed is bigger. Kinetic energy is not preserved, but the energy is preserved. That's very important we to uh, understand. And as I said, human body is very, very vulnerable. So you need to protect it. You need to protect it. When you fight, chin down, uh, legs bent, and arms not here, because can hit you here, not here, because can hit you there, just here. And comfortable position where you can you can block and attack, block and attack the, 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 the same moment where it comes. It's very easy when it's here. Don't pull yourself too much forward. Make yourself your protect. Also, you see my elbows are tied to the body. So if somebody hits, you'll hit my elbow. You see, I can, I can quickly do, uh, 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 do it. Um, also, uh, except uh, not only that human body is uh, uh, very vulnerable, but human body uh, has his uh, weaknesses. So even the guy is Arnold Schwarzenegger, when this arm is here, it's much easier to move this direction. Do you see it? Even if it's Arnold Schwarzenegger, I, I can use much less strength moving this hand here, you know, than to move it here. Well, you've got the big muscles. You see, we're gonna use this kind of stuff. We're gonna use this stuff. Uh, same thing with the legs, same thing with the with the with, with the arm. Uh, it, 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 you know, it's, it's this muscle, you know, can cannot cannot uh, resist my two hands when I want to uh, break his neck, say, for example, or just turn him with two hands. Cannot resist, especially if it's done fast. You see, also here, the wrist. You see, if somebody grabs you and his wrist is here, if I grab his wrist, cannot resist, cannot resist. You see, you've got the weak points, even if it's big. So this is why I'm saying it's not a question of strength. It's a question of you knowing what you're doing and you know the weaknesses of body and you know the vulnerabilities of the uh, of the body. Um, uh, there is a two points that are very, very dangerous and I would like you to warn about that. It's a dead danger. Um, one is the neck and another one is um, uh, temporal lobe here of, of, of your skull. This is the weakest point of the brain. So if you give him a good hit here, Actually, the, the, the skull can crack. Same thing, a, a good hit on the nose with, with a palm can, can actually pull his nose into his, his brain. It's terrible. You know, can, that's another uh, dead hit. Uh, uh, the neck is very uh, vulnerable. Also, uh, what you, what, what's going to happen, a good hit in the neck Will, will render a guy uh, unconscious. So it's 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 terrible. Um, so 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 that's it. Uh, the things that we need. Human body is vulnerable, and human body has weaknesses, and we need to explore these weaknesses so that we can be successful in in, in self defense. Um, so uh, this is going to be just an introduction. Um, I'm going to talk. Uh, to explain you the situation so that you can remember it but i want you to uh, out of these exercises wherever you uh, find necessary you to get um, your own routine wherever is suitable in your daily life my daily life prefers four to six and uh, to keep yourself uh, 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 disciplined i um, i eat only twice a day i'm complete vegan i don't eat milk i don't eat uh, uh, cheese any diaries and I don't eat meat and I eat only twice a day breakfast and lunch you don't need to eat supper because the food stays in your stomach 
poisons your system, makes you fat, makes you bad dreams and things like this. Uh, once a week, uh, Friday, I don't eat anything. I just drink water. From Thursday lunch to Saturday morning, I don't eat anything. I don't feel it because I did it for years uh, and also cleans your system. Uh, please understand that 90% uh, of the people eat very, very little of, on, on this planet. If you go to India, if you go to China, if you go to Philippines, you're going to see that these guys eat that little once or twice a day, that little, and they work like, like hell. That, that kind of European and uh, uh, American Western um, type of eating that, uh, you know, uh, all of these uh, things and eating uh, uh, so much, uh, that, that is, has no reason and has no physiology. Uh, uh, going that neither is gonna make you strong, neither is gonna make you uh, bigger. It's just a craving of the uh, of the appetite. Um, so you need to be disciplined. Um, you need to know yourself. You need to know your weaknesses, uh, and to 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 overcome them. Um, just just get uh, uh, disciplined. Um, when I was teaching uh, my children uh, to, uh, to to fight. Uh, I teach them since they start walking. My my daughter got uh, her green belt when she was uh, uh, six. She's got her yellow belt first when she was four. Um, so uh, I always teach, uh, tell them, look now, better I to be called to the principal office than I to be called to the ICU. So when you start fighting, make sure, you know, that you finish whoever it attacks you. You know, whoever attacks you, uh, it, it finish. So, uh, as I said to them, better I to go to the principal office than to go to the ICU. Same thing with you, the adults. You know, uh, when when the existential situation, not every situation is existential, as I say, when you're cornered, uh, always remember, you can get out of jail, but you can't get out of grave. Of the grave, you can't get out. From the jail, you can get you can get out. So, uh, if there is a existential situation, life or death, and you have to make that that kind of decision. What kind of uh, damage you're gonna do to to your uh, enemy? Remember always that. If, if you have to give him a GBH, or if you have to give him a terrible fracture, so if you have to give him a, send him in a hospital for six seven months uh, or to kill him you can get out of jail but you can't get out of grief i remember that uh, i i i talk plain i take straightforward i'm not gonna use uh, sugary words of if, if you don't like my talking this course is not for you uh, find yourself a, a trainer or whoever it is there that that can talk to you uh, nicely my purpose in this uh, video is just to make you able to defend yourself not to attack not to do anything else just to defend uh, yourself another important point that that's going to give you dignity to yourself knowing that you can neutralize uh, you can damage you can fracture your your enemy uh, knowing that you can defend yourself it's a big uh, big advantage now you can tell me huh, yeah well you know you learn all of these techniques, but as I said just now, that everything depends on a chance. True, it depends on a chance, but, but now you think about it. what are your chances if you don't train, if you watch TV, you stuff yourself with junk food and, uh, you, you know, you, 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 you're just a back, uh, back of, uh, of nothing and couch potato. And what are your chances to defend yourself there? And what are your chances to, to defend yourself if you highly train? Obviously, we're talking about here uh, uh, chances. We're not talking about 100% guarantee. There is no 100% guarantee. Even if you know of this, this, all of these things, there is a, uh, you know, there can happen that one guy can hit you like a Harry Houdini, hit him on the, on the stomach and the guy die. Uh, so, you know, it can happen anything. So, uh, but why, why then uh, we should use all of this? Um, it's, it's like a fence, you know, 
if your fence is that little, if you catch potato, the guys can jump it easy, but if your fence is higher, they can jump it still. You can get killed, you can get knocked out. But the percentage of the guys that can break this wall or knock it out or uh, jump over it, it's much less. So your chance is, is less. On top of that, it's not only the training, um, the, the self-defense. You, you must enjoy the training. Uh, it's, you know, it's a f uh, just the physical movement and, and things like this. This is why I enjoy it uh, uh, too much and I train every day. It's simply because the movement makes your circulation bigger, uh, better, makes you physically fit and, 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 and things like this. Why well, I have to go and run or, or swim for, 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 for kilometers where I can learn to fight. You see, there is something useful. So it's also physical toning of, of your body. That's, that's, that's very important um, uh, you to enjoy it. Even if you don't get involved in a single fight. My last fight was 20 years ago. Even if you don't get involved in a fight, better not to get involved. But even if you don't get involved, you've got the benefits of the stretching. You've got the benefits of toning your body, of, of, of a good cardio, of a good discipline, of knowing that you can wake up 4 o'clock, and, and, and start training and you know that you can be master of yourself and not slave of your habits. That's, that's very important, even if you're not using it. And um, another thing that we need to mention is the legal aspect of, of all of this. Um, I'm not a lawyer and I'm not going to advise you what's legal and what's not. As I said to you, when, uh, when a death, death and life fight starts, the legality is the last thing of... Uh, uh, of my, uh, you know, priorities. When I see the guy is pull a pull a gun on uh, on my chest, um, if I start thinking, oh, what's gonna happen now? If I kill this guy, if I take his gun, you know, you you already you already dead, you already dead. So uh, the legal aspect, I'm leaving it up to you. The decisions that you're gonna take is your own decisions. So are you gonna fracture or are you gonna do it? My priorities, as I said. It's easier to get out of the jail than get, getting out of the grave or, or of, out of ICU. So I, I prefer to, to use uh, uh, force uh, enough to neutralize him, knock him out and fracture him, whatever it is, rather than not to do it. Uh, so this is why I'm very reluctant to start fighting, because if I start fighting, uh, I spoke once with the uh, Muay Thai world champion and, uh, and I said to him, look, did you get involved in a situation since he says uh, no no i try to not not to get involved but uh, if somebody start fighting with me uh, even if uh, he gives up i, I you know I, I i break him this is what he says give him a fracture and it's finished uh, so you see that that kind of mentality so the legal aspect on on that uh, I'll, I'll leave it up to you um so uh, be compassionate to your friends and to your uh, to your family. Uh, try not to get involved with fight. Try to uh, you know uh, to defuse the fight. Is that but once in the fight, your full force uh, must be uh, displayed. Otherwise, you're losing. You're losing, and you know you, you can be a dead body uh, uh, next time. Um, practice what I'm saying. Uh, all of this. Uh, Every day, uh, lie down on your bed and turn it in your head so that it can become automatic. Because if it's not automatic, you know, you can't start thinking what I'm going to use when these things happen. It, it must just, it must just happen. You don't have time to think. Fighting is not a chess, you know. Uh, it must be automatic. It's, it's just like a swimming. Um, your mind switching off and your hand is just moving. Uh, so, so it's exactly uh, like this. If you're at the moment training a, a different martial arts sport, by all means carry on training it. If you'd like to implement some of these techniques, uh, uh, please do it. And uh, you can tell me, uh, you know, who are you to tell me all of these things? Look, that's my experience. I'm, I'm not claiming that you can't find a better guy, by all means do it. Find find a, a better guy than me and, uh, and use it. But um, the advantage of my system that is that I, it, it's proven, it's proven, it works, and I'm not going to give you any uh, uh, 
you know, rubbish and theoretical stuff that, that are just uh, things like this. I'm not going to teach you to do the karate kata, uh, though they are very important. I'm not going to teach you karate. I'm, not, I'm going to teach you uh, self-defense. So this self-defense is very, very important and um, everybody should do it. Um, there is a, something that is uh, totally missing out of, of the schools and there are three things and I don't understand why they are missing. And the three things that makes life uh, nice, I'm talking about material life, I'm not talking about spiritual life, I'm not talking about uh, ethical stuff now here, yeah, I'm not talking about arts and things, humanities and things, I'm talking about very practical life. If you don't have these three things, your life is going to be miserable. And these three things are the ability to defend yourself, which you need to learn as soon as you start walking, the ability to defend yourself, Second, the ability to feed yourself, so that means to make money, right? And the third thing is the ability to handle the opposite sex, the love life, all right? And these three things are not taught in the school, all right? Um, I've got a negotiation course where I can teach you the, the second thing, how to make money. This is the first point, how to defend yourself. But they don't teach this in the school, all right? They don't teach this in the school. They, they don't teach. They teach you some useless, a lot of useless stuff. And let me tell you, uh, I homeschooled my children because I believe that the schools are not made for the, for the students. The schools are made for the teachers and for the politics and for the administration that enrich themselves. They're not made for the students. I never seen somebody, uh, uh, you know, learn anything in the school except to lie, to steal, to swear to do bad things. Real, real studying is at home when you do your study. So this is, this is absolutely useless. Even universities, you know, I, I've got my master's degree in university. It's, it's fine, but my teaching, my learning was, was not done in university, was learn, uh, learn, uh, when, when I was at home. So all of these institutions are completely wrong. And I don't understand why the people don't learn uh, uh, at home, uh, why don't they make a school virtual like in the school, uh, like at home? Why we need to do uh, uh, schooling? You know, it's expensive buildings. Uh, it's only one thing is, is to enrich the, uh, the, the teachers and to enrich the, uh, the administration and the politics and, uh, and uh, the government and things like this with all of these schools. This is why they made it compulsory to go to the school. You see, what a big rubbish, man. It, what you're going to learn in that school, you know, it's tragic that people learn nothing in the school and not prepare for life. And the things that make life beautiful is your ability to defend yourself, your ability to make money and be absolutely independent, and your ability to make love. So that's three important things. If you don't have your life, is going to be miserable. You see? So they, they don't teach this in the school. So we, we try to make uh, these things. The love life, and the fight, they are similar that there is no right and wrong in, in, in these two aspects. When you start fighting, when there is a, a war, who is right, who is wrong, it's finished now. Same thing with love. What's right and wrong? If you want to get that person, it's also finished. So, um, but there is a right and wrong in a financial war. Uh, so, so it's up to you um, just to tell uh, every knowledge is limited. Only stupidity is limitless. You, know, you can be stupid in all kinds of aspects. There, there is no time in your life that you cannot do stupid things. You're older, you're young, and, and, and things like this. There is no time that you cannot be stupid. But to learn something, knowledge is limited. That limitation makes knowledge very specific. So you need to learn it and to make sure you practice and to practice. And I hope that this is going to help you, like it helped me, with all aspects of your life, and strive for excellence, avoid violent behavior, be example of, of the others, and help uh, weaker persons, and, uh, and train. Hope that's going to help you.